Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotec Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial from scratch. And this is part 33 of this video session series in which we are going to see about the plugin extended features. So guys, if you are beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions where we had discussed about my book sample plugin. So this is the plugin guys that we have created from scratch in this video session where we have added some of the features but according to our subscribers they actually suggested to add some of the extended features to this plugin. So thank you all the subscribers to giving me the idea about this plugin feature. So what are the new features that actually we have added to this plugin? First of all I would like to discuss the plugin before extended features. Okay. So what was the features that actually we had added before that? We have added the simple features like we have made a table where we had seen about the list that we have created from this menu section. Okay, this is the menu, this is the form actually by the help of this form actually we have created our books and these books all are listed in book list data table. Okay, and we have used WP my books as the table to store all of the books that we have created from this form okay so what are the new features that actually we have added to this plugin first of all we have added about a author section okay means each author section is associated with our book as you can see while creating any book from this form we have added an author section okay by this author section actually we are going to assign each author by a particular course okay and also we have added a student section okay means each book should be assigned by admin to any of the specific student that we will create from this form okay means when we create any student from this form then each user becomes a specific user of this WordPress setup okay and now admin can enroll or assign any of this course to a particular user of this wp setup okay also we have made a course tracker section in which admin can track that which course actually enrolled by a student okay mean suppose admin has created 10 of the courses from this form okay and now he is created some of the students like three or four five Okay, and now some of the students from this list actually enroll themselves into this course. Okay, so which course actually enrolled by the student admin can see by my course tracker list. Okay, so let's say about its demonstration features. Okay, so first of all, let's open its front end section and call my book. Okay. so this is the actually front end section guys as you can see no books created by admin obviously because if you're going to this list then there is no book list in this list okay so obviously we are getting the message like no books created by admin okay so once we create any book from this form then this message should go and our new book will be created to this front end section okay after this video session guys I will discuss each and every section about this plugin and the features that actually we will see in a bit okay so let's create a book called first of all we have to create an author for this drop down still we have no author okay so let's create some of so let's say online web tutor and fb links should be something like this and let's say this channel is best for beginners okay just I'm clicking on submit as you can see author created successfully we have created an author successfully so if you go to this list manage authors then we will see that this is the author we have created okay so by this help of this delete button we can delete this author so let's click that and here it's a confirmation message that are you want to delete so right now we are not interested to delete okay so just click on cancel so let's add some of the students okay so before that let's another author called sample sample author 
and facebook.com slash sample author okay this is the dummy link that I have used for this author and HTTPS and this is the channel where student sorry guys this is author this is the author where he has provided best knowledges best skills okay so just I'm clicking on submit just click on and under going to the manage author section we will see about the two authors that we have created so far okay so let's add a new student to our list called Amit Kumar Amit at gmail.com Amit 1001 let's say password Amit 1001 and confirmation again Amit 1001 okay so just I'm clicking on submit button and here student created successfully okay so let's add another student called Rakesh Rakesh at gmail.com let's say Rakesh 1001 Rakesh 1001 and again Rakesh 1001 so these are the basic information guys that actually we have filled for this student okay so just I'm clicking on submit button and right now we will see that student created successfully okay so let's go to this manage all the student section and here are the list that we have created about the two student okay so just I'm going to use to create a new book okay so just I'm clicking on this choose author now we will see that the these two authors actually we have created by this add new author section okay so let's say cake PHP okay and now Authors should be something like online web tutor. So this book is best to learn about cake PHP 3.5. Okay. Some of the dummy contents, guys, that actually I have taken from Laurie Ipsum website. Okay. So just copy of that and paste it here. Okay. And let's upload image for this course. Now choose this. Click on select and let's say submit so successfully we have created our book so let's go to its front end section before going that let's copy this url and open into an another browser called incognito means private window okay so just paste it here and enter once we enter as you can see OWT courses and this is the course that we have created from our administrator panel okay cake php 3.5 here is the thumbnail image and here is the author okay and here you can see that in draw login to enroll means any user if they wants to learn from this book then first he needs to enroll this book or log into this book okay so just i'm clicking on this button once he clicks then he will be redirected to the login page okay so let's say that the user that we have created like amit1001 password is amit1001 and let's click on login while clicking on login he will be redirected to our course page okay obviously we are using my book as our custom url to list our all books that we have created for our administrator panel okay so just and now you can see that the message has changed from login to enroll to enroll to read okay so just i'm clicking on this button after clicking on this button the student has successfully enrolled to this course okay and now click on enrolled once you click on enrolled he will see the course details okay like a page p3.5 and here are the contents that actually we have added from our backend section okay so obviously if you are creating a book then you need to use its thumbnail image the course name and the author section and according to use you can adjust your contents according to your course uses okay so right now we have used a sample book which we have created for a student okay and now the Amit user has actually enrolled himself to this course okay so just go to our 
administrator panel and just click on course tracker okay while clicking on course tracker admin can see that actually amit has enrolled himself to cake php 3.5 course okay so successfully if we want to create a new book called laravel tutorials author should be sample and let's say this book is for learn laravel 5.4 version okay so let's an upload image called this a dummy image click on select and let's submit successfully our uh, admin can create it another book so let's go to its administrator panel sorry front end just refresh this page and now he can see that one more book has been created called laravel tutorials and this is sample author okay and here enroll to read because the student has enrolled himself for this course only to enroll course he needs to click on this button after clicking the button turns out to be green indicating that the student has successfully enrolled in the, into this course okay so let's look out this user and here is login to enroll okay so just click on that and now let's say rakesh 1001 and 1001 okay let's rakesh 1001 so just copy this your username and paste it here and here the list actually rakesh will show after his login okay now he can enroll these two courses okay so first of all if he needs to enroll this course laravel tutorials then he needs to click on this button okay so just i'm clicking on this button and now successfully rakesh has enrolled himself for laravel tutorials okay so just start clicking on this and now this is the content section actually will appear the admin has actually added for this course okay so just i'm going to administrator panel and just i'm clicking on course tracker so now admin can track that the two different users rakesh and amit has involved himself for two different courses okay so successfully guys by the help of this plugin about its extended features now admin can create books authors students and each student will make, make, make himself as a specific user for this WordPress setup. Okay, so just I'm going to its user section. So we will see that the three different users Amit, Rakesh, and Admin himself. Okay, so Amit and Rakesh is the two different users actually we have created from this my book plugin. Okay, so while adding any new student a uh, different user actually has been created in from its backend code and each user had his own login details okay and now a student can enroll himself for any of the course actually created by admin okay and for this creating book we have created a section called add new authors so basically guys in this plugin we have created three different sections first book authors and a student and the finally we have added uh, another feature called course tracker by the help of this course tracker admin can actually track the student enrolling feature okay means which student actually enroll himself for any of the specific courses created by admin okay so these all features are extended previously from our that what we have seen in our last video session okay so all these features guys we will discuss after this video session in great detail we will see after each and every section from to scratch okay so once again i will thank you to all of the subscriber actually who has contributed to extend these features to my book sample plugin okay so guys if you have any query in this video session then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day